guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Coffee Date Thursday video for you. And today for Coffee Date Thursday, we are doing a spring tag. Now, a lot of these questions I don't relate to much, but I'm going to do my best and answer them for you. And I am drinking some tea, and this is my Tiffany & Company mug that my mother-in-law and father-in-law gave me. And I love it, it's so pretty, it looks just like a blue box and it is a little dainty mug and I love it and I am just drinking some chamomile tea because I'm feeling a little under the weather today. The first question is favorite spring nail polish. Now, I don't have a favorite. I just paint my nails. If I paint my nails, I paint my nails whatever color I'm feeling at that moment. I am not a huge beauty person, I guess. Um, focus a lot of my energy on other things. I wish I could be more into that stuff. I wish I was better at doing makeup and get it, keeping my nails painted and stuff, but I'm not. <laughs> So, um, but these are the two colors I'm excited about that I have in my collection. Um, this first one is by Sinful Shine, and this is like a two-step gel nail polish, and it's called Al Fresco, and it is like a light blue, and I really like this color, and I'm thinking about painting my nails after this video with it because this video reminded me that I should paint my nails. And the other one is this one by Fresh Paint, and this is from Five Below. Um, and this is called Honeydew, and it is like a honeydew green, and I think it's super cute for the spring. The next question is, what is your must-have lip color for the spring? I am not a huge lipstick person. I own like three lipsticks and a bunch of lip glosses. I'm more uh, put on some chapstick and go type person. I love seeing lipsticks. I think people look amazing with all different lipsticks, but I'm just, I don't think they work well for me. So I do have a little bit of lipstick on today. It's kind of like a brownish color. I don't even know if it works. Does it work guys? You let me know. Um, but I think for the spring light pinks and like, um, nude type. I saw on Pinterest this um, NYX or NYX uh, matte lipstick color called Tea Rose and I'll insert a picture of it here. I think that's a beautiful spring color and I've actually thought about buying it which is not really my style like I said. Um, the lipsticks I do have came in like a case that my mom and sister gave me for Christmas and I don't wear them that often but it is a beautiful like natural looking lip color, so I might try that out. Number three is show us your favorite spring dress. Now, I don't really have any spring dresses in the spring. I live in maxi skirts. Um, I didn't bring any out of my closet to show you, but I have just plain black. I have a black and white Aztec print. I have some striped ones. Um, yeah, I live in maxi skirts and tank tops and like little cardigans in the spring. I love it. Number four is what's your favorite flower? My favorite flower has always been the um, water lily, but more recently I've really started to navigate more towards um, gardenias and daisies and just flowers like that. I don't really have a favorite. Um, chrysanthemums are really pretty. I had those in my wedding bouquet. I really just like flowers all flowers. <laughs> but my favorite has always been the water lily. I just think they're beautiful. Okay, number five is your favorite spring scarf or accessory. I don't really wear scarves that often in the spring. I wear them more in the fall and winter. But my favorite spring accessory is good old, good old flip-flops. I love flip-flops. And here in Georgia, it gets warm enough in the spring where you can wear flip-flops. So once spring start, it's, starts its flip-flop season. So that's my favorite accessory, I guess you could say. What spring trends are you most excited about this year? Honestly, I don't know what trends there are. So I'm um, not particularly excited about any of them. 
but I'm sure there will be some pretty cool stuff. The next one is favorite spring candle. Now I haven't been candle shopping in forever, so I don't really have like a favorite of maybe the new candles that came out, but what I do have and what I have been burning in my room is this one and it is called Island Tiare Flower and it, it smells so good, so clean and fresh and I love it. Um, it says the Tiare Flower native to the South Pacific blends exquisitely with notes of glittering bronze sand and a hint of island spice and it is amazing. I love this candle. And I don't know if that qualifies as a spring or summer, but to me spring and summer are kind of interchangeable because where I live um, it's basically summer once the spring hits. Favorite body spray or perfume for the spring? I don't have particular for like different seasons. I'm not that type of girl like I said, but my favorite body spray is Sweet Pea. This has been my favorite uh, since I was in high school. I do have other body sprays and perfumes that I use, but um, this is like my go-to body spray. What is spring like where you live? I just kind of went over this. Spring here is very much like summer. It's a little bit more mild. Um, it gets a lot hotter in the summer, but it's very much like summer to me. Um, it's not... I feel like spring in New Jersey where I grew up was a little bit chillier. I'm not sure. I've been here so long I can't even really remember. But to me spring here is a lot like summer. Um, we do get a lot of rain. We do have a rainy season. But it's a lot like summer here. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about spring? My favorite thing about spring is just um, that it's a mild weather. It's a little bit like fall. I mean, it's more on the hot side than fall is chillier, but after a long cold winter, it's nice to not have to put on your heavy coats and all of that when you go out. I love seeing all the flowers blooming. I love being able to wear my flip flops and, um, just be able to be outside more. I hate the pollen here in this area, the pollen is very thick, um, everything turns yellow, but I do love seeing all the flowers blooming and just feeling the warmth. Are you a spring cleaner? I am. I'm a year-round cleaner though, um, but there's certain things I do in the spring that I wouldn't be able to do in other seasons necessarily. Um, a lot of outside stuff and um, I don't know, I I guess, yes, I am a spring cleaner, but I'm more of a year-round cleaner. Um, there's just certain tasks that I do do in the spring that I don't do at other times during the year. Um, we change out like our filters in the spring and the air conditioning like HVAC system. I touch up paint in the spring. I do a lot of outside work like um, cleaning the deck off with the um, power washer and washing the windows and things like that, washing the screens from the windows. But I'm a year-round cleaner. I clean. I deep clean all the time. It's something that relaxes me. And number 12 is any spring vacation plans. And this is kind of yes and no. Yes, we did have spring vacation plans for spring break, which the kids had last week. We went to Hawaii and it was an amazing time. But um, <laughs> we don't have any other vacation plans for the rest of the spring. We do have summer plans, but our spring vacation passed and it was a beautiful time in Hawaii. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Coffee Date Thursday. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you aren't already subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I have a question for you. What spring trends are you most excited for? Because I'd like to know what's trending for the spring so I could be a little bit more trendy and cool like everyone else. <laughs> but for real, leave your um, favorite spring trends or what trends you're most excited about in the comments down below so I can look into that and we can interact. I love having conversation with you guys. Don't forget to check out all the other Coffee Date Thursday videos. I will leave a link down below for the playlist where you can check out everybody else's Coffee Date Thursdays and some previous Coffee Date Thursdays. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I wanted to sit down and give you guys an update on everything that's been going on and